sit down at your favorite cocktail bar and ask the bartender to make me your favorite drink, but can you make sure it's something special? You sit eagerly in anticipation, excited to see what the cocktail will be. When it arrives, you're left slightly disappointed by nothing more than a traditional Manhattan. You pay your tab and head home a little downtrodden. What if we told you that there was a better way to make a cocktail off the beaten path? We're being joined by Tracy Lambert, the general manager of Willikers in Sioux Falls, and he's brought along with him Willikers assistant manager, Sydney Brasscamp, and they're here to break down how Willikers can help you make the perfect cocktail that's a little unexpected. Welcome. Thanks, Thanks. for having us. <laughs> I like the sound of this. A lot of times you get stuck ordering the same thing you like because you know you like it, mm -hmm. but do you oftentimes get a lot of people who come in and they're looking for something unique? That's a huge chunk of our business. I mean, we do have obviously a large selection. We've got a lot of space. we got to fill it with stuff. So we do very well with those things that are a little different. People come in and find what they're looking for, but then they usually grab something different. Too, right. So. Something unique. Yeah. Especially with the seasons changing, you probably want something different in the summer than you do the winter. Oh, yeah. And everyone mm -hmm. sees something they have online and or they saw it online and they want to make it. So we've got it. Yeah. So we are doing some off the beaten path cocktails today and we're starting off with the Pisco Sour. So this is the national cocktail of Peru. Yeah. Yep. So tell me how this one's made. Um, so this one is going to be, we doubled the recipe today, so we did uh, two egg whites in there. Uh, we did some simple syrup, some bitters, some of our pisco, got that shaken up, nice and foamy. Was I missing anything in there? I think I got it all. So this one you really need to shake. Yeah. Right? We gave the, it a good shake eggs. before we went. And, and when I, I was doing a little bit of research on, on this one, I read that it has that earthly, refreshing taste to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Pisco, you definitely get that earthiness on the nose. It's kind of, it's interesting. It's got really that essence of distillation really comes mm -hmm. through on it, so. I think it smells good. Exciting. Oh. All right, cheers. cheers. Let's try this one. <laughs> I like, I like that. that one. You can taste that lime juice in yeah. there. It's really refreshing. But it's not too overpowering, the lime isn't? Mm -mm. Yeah, I think the Pisco kind of flattens it out a yeah. little bit and makes it so it's not quite so tart. I would say that this cocktail is probably good for a lot of people too because the taste of it is something that you kind of get with a lot of things. It doesn't seem super out of the ordinary right. where it has to really go with your taste buds. Right. It's something pretty familiar different. Mm -hmm. and pretty approachable. Mm -hmm. I love the lime with it. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. All right, next we have the Calvados Old Fashioned. So this is different than the traditional fashion, old fashioned. So what do we do to make this one, Tracy? So this one we're taking and replacing what would normally be your whiskey. Mm -hmm. We replace it with Calvados, which is basically brandy made with apple cider. So from France, right? Yep, and it can also come from Spain as well. And then Applejack is the American version. So there's a bunch of different ways to do it. So a brandy old fashioned like is very classic. Yep, and this this is just doing a little bit different twist on it. So to make this, we took our Calvados, we took our proof cocktail syrup, which we always like for our old fashions, mm -hmm. and then to spice it up a little bit, we added a little bit of Baron Yager in there to give it a little bit more sweetness. And this is, the Baron Yager is honey. It's a honey liqueur, and it's like just drinking straight honey. Right? So. I mean, look at the bottle even. It looks like a massive bottle of honey that you get at the store. Yep. And when you smell it, so this one's already made, let's smell it. Smells like straight honey. Yeah, yeah, it's 100% honey, and it's dangerous because it's it's 70 proof, so you're still getting a fair amount of alcohol mm -hmm. in there. But is there a lot of different types of cocktails you can make using this too to add that flavor? Anything that you want to add honey yeah. to, it would work well. And you're you're adding a bunch of booze, so you're not even diluting the the drink down a whole lot. So you got to be a little careful with right. it that way. Right. And if you just put less in, then it would yep. be less sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does not take much to give you that flavor. So, so right. when I try this, am I going to be able to distinctively taste that honey? Yeah, it'll definitely yeah. be there. Honey in the and finish. apple. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That's good. Okay, wait. I'm not a huge fan of old fashions, and I would drink this. It's a little fruitier, a little yeah. bit more, uh, it's mm -hmm. lighter. 100% more fruitier. And definitely. we definitely got the sweetness dialed down from I, where we were just <laughs> I think I think the sweetness of this is perfect. Yeah. We practiced, and it paid off for us. Yeah. yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. I was a little nervous about the Old Fashioned because I've had one before, and I'm like, oh, that, that's not really my jam, but this is something that I would drink. This yeah, is a good... It's a good summery drink, too. It's actually nice and light and very approachable. But when we say it's sweeter it's not overpowering because sometimes when you drink really sweet drinks mm. you can't really drink a whole one because it just doesn't sit well in the stomach but this is perfect yep all right the next one we have the caprina yeah 
Now this is the national cocktail of Brazil. Yep. And what do we have in this one, Tracy? So cachaça is what you use to make a caprinha, which is basically uh, Brazil's rum. So it's just made with sugar cane, like what most rum would be. Uh, and then it's sugar, lime, you muddle that down in the shaker, you add a little bit of bitters, and then you add the cachaça, stir it up or shake it and pour it over ice. And, and you can really taste the lime in this one too. Yeah. That should be. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right, cheers. Yep, you use whole limes in this one, so. I really like that one too. <laughs> That's very refreshing. I'm really yeah. impressed. You guys brought in some good cocktails today. That one definitely dials the lime up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. I'm a big fan of lime, mm -hmm. but if you're making this by yourself, you can obviously leave out some lime if you like the drink, but don't like the overpoweringness of lime. Mm -hmm. All right, last one. We're drinking this neat Arc Brune. Yeah. So this is a. Uh, I get all black jelly bean out of it, and I looked black up a couple different bean. cocktails with it, and it's used more as an accent piece usually. Yeah. But it's very unique, and it's it's super high proof actually too. So, so you want to yeah. sip it. So this is 53% alcohol, so 106 proof. And so. grapes too, right? Made out of grapes? Yes. Doesn't really smell like super strong. It's uh, anise is the primary. Yeah. Uh, I get black jelly bean. Yeah. I get the smell straight of black jelly bean. All right, let's try this. You can taste it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Dad tastes just like a black jelly bean. I, yeah. And for 106 Straight. proof, it's pretty easy to drink. I don't know that you want to drink a lot of it, but you know, as yeah. like a little drink after dinner or something, or something before different. dinner. Right, you wouldn't think something this high proof would go down that easy. No. Yeah. Right? But it, it actually doesn't taste bad. And I'm not that big of a fan of black jelly beans, but <laughs> it's still really, really good. So four different cocktails that you can make off the beaten path, and I think you guys nailed all of them. So thank you so much for coming in and teaching us how to make these. They're delicious. Of course. Thank you for having us. Willikers is Sioux Falls' largest liquor shop. It's honestly unlike anything you've ever seen before. So stop by and see it for yourself. They're located at 3625 West Avera Drive in Sioux Falls. And you can find their specials and selection on their website at willikers.com. They're open seven days a week, and curbside service is available. Whatever you're looking for, they can help you start your weekend warmer at Willikers. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by Willikers. Stop by their liquor superstore in Sioux Falls, South Dakota today to browse endless aisles and a walk-in beer cooler of everything liquid and delicious. Willikers selection is intoxicating.